Hey, you know the most important thing? Yeah. Of this not working out, I think all the learning you get from it because you reach for ill shit, dude. Look how far it's gotten. You. I mean, in the past year and a half, like you reach for all the shit that if you didn't even, you don't even understand. Like you just saying, "Fuck it, I can do it," and look what you've done. I mean, literally, look what you've done. Who the fuck? People can't even comprehend that you can't even afford this many shoes in this apartment. You know what I mean? Like, and you do it. You do it how you want to do it. It's fucking dope. We just couldn't obtain this one amount of money in the time period that we wanted. It's not that we can't attain 100 grand. Of course we yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, it's life happens fast and there's so it's much. It's also a hard investment to sell. It's like people, yeah, it's because very... it's such a weird thing and because it's such a self-fucking-propelled thing and it's like yeah. a self-belief thing, yeah. that it's hard to get people to, unless you're some fucking douchebag yeah. YouTuber who's like, yeah. I'm gonna do exactly, I'm gonna be a robot. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's impossible. Same thing with People don't get excited about pre-orders, you know, like... Same thing, yeah, it's so interesting. It's why motherfuckers end up on Shark Tank every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, like, give up their idea for some money because they just want to make it a reality. It's like... about to draw, listen to some Joe Rogan, you know, get ideas, things like that. Um, so I have a bunch of shit to do this morning. My voice is gone. So full disclosure, my voice is gone because I was screaming, I'm pretty sure. Uh, not everything in life is uh, <coughs> awesome. So I had to scream when I got home and it sucked, but now my voice is gone. So um, yeah, but Waiting on Earn, and then we have to go, I have to look at houses today, so yeah. But first, I'm gonna draw, I'll update you later, I'll be back. An inmate at New York State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision. Yo. What's up, bro? I don't have a voice. What, uh, was Vegas that good? Uh, no, yelling at got home was that crazy. Uh, you know, well, aside from that, you all right? Yeah, I'm just super busy, man. That's like saying, if you're a serial killer, you will allow the police to come in and search your home, but you can't go in the basement. Omar. What did you do to your face? <laughs> <laughs> what was that laugh? I don't know. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, and I put an attachment on the buzzer so it would just trim it, but it was the wrong attachment. So maybe you do need a vlog. Uh, here's yeah. this. I don't know if you want to frame it or what. Um, oh, yeah. It's just so good, dude. I love this. It looks like we're going to rob a bank. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Mustache. So what I've been told by an Uber driver, and I've looked this up, and it's true here in Denver, there's outside companies. I told you that. So you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay it. I told you that in New York, and I told you that here. It wasn't an Uber driver. I thought I did have to pay. I just never pay, because fuck it. Yeah. But yeah, and, and I read it. They go away in three months. They hold the info for 90 days, and then they just, because legally, well, now that we have a vlog, they actually can prove that I've received this. It's amazing. Because they, what those companies do is they come to town with the, they hit up the government, basically, you know, or the city, local yeah. government, and they say, they make them a, you let us put these red light cameras in your city, we do X amount of dollars every year. And they're like, all right, cool, we'll take yeah. the fucking six million dollars. And we got they the wrong hustle. It's more than that. It's said there's they six they to to seven hundred people a day. I know. Get but they shit. recoup. They just recoup. They try to recoup that money. It's fucked. But even seven hundred. The city. You're even you're like going down the money track. Here's the thing. You're being evil. No, you're saying I'm we're saying, in the wrong business. We should be fucking well, people over for no, driving. No. I'm saying that the government sells really out its fucking that. community. Yes, Can I, we get on the same page? No, we please? are. All same right. Page. Thank you. I'm joking. I'm what just saying. Fuck? I just mount a. I can see the fucking diamonds people. in your eyes. You fucking schmee. That's not really what I want to do with my life. You're over here fucking precious eyed out and shit. I'm trying to explain the shit to you. No. 
I'm just telling you that... You're not telling me anything. I already knew. Yeah, well, I'm just telling you it's wild the amount that... Yeah. I'm just saying even if they get 30% of the tickets... Yes, they make a lot of money. It's more than $6 million. Government, government makes a lot of money. Point that New, I'm saying. That's why I'm not paying it, dog. Newsflash. They're not getting that money from me. I'm not another $70. And we're actually here now informing people not to get... Don't pay your red light tickets. Yeah, don't pay your According red light According to Dirty Iron. <laughs> Yeah. It's actually true, you don't have to do it. Unless there's a court date involved, you don't have to deal with it. <clears throat> if there's a court date attached, maybe deal with it. I think that we can look at tomorrow, unless like one of these is just a done deal. Okay. Hopefully, this shit is, one of these is cool. Hopefully. Where is the roll of the tray? Over here. I roll a great non-king size joint now, for the record. I don't really have much weed. Honestly, I don't even know if I have really any fucking weed. What is this, indica? Probably. This is all you got left. I wish you told me I have weed. I didn't really think about it. Yeah. Kind of have a million other things to think about right now. Yeah. The number one perk of living here and not being a douchebag that has to go to work at 9 a.m. Yeah. Is I can play fetch in the hall with Omar for like an hour in the, in the air conditioning and nobody's here. Yeah. It is great. <laughs> A battle wound for running the hall. Yeah. Battle wound on the nose, he ran into a wall. I'm interested in seeing the one that the guy said is a little bit older. If that's the first one that we're going to now. That he said I feel the like I am married. <laughs> and then I'm looking at a house with a wife. I'm gonna tell him right you off know, the bat. You know, I we that together. we're not gay. Yeah. Please, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. And then I have to give the final speech out, although I have no problem with gays. I have friends that are You don't have to give that speech. You just you start the conversation with look. I got talent here. You want to be a manager. You want the title yeah. of manager, right? I got talent here. So they listen, the talent over here, my talent. This is my number one talent. Yeah. I have no other talent. I do talent. right here. I have no other talent in my, my harem of talent. So, he's a little strange. He's a little strange, right? The kind of power you're looking for. You know where you parked today? I see it. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't easy, dog. Careful parking. I don't know where I hit those nails around here. Dude, those, oh. Those, those scooters are everywhere. Yeah, they were in San Francisco last week. Did they, they disappear again? I don't know. People in San Francisco weren't that into it, I guess. I'm like, there's a thing on like vice about it or some shit. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Keep your eyes over here. I'll search the two addresses in the right order here. I don't want to be at the wrong one. Go. I have to shave your beard off so people take you a little less seriously today. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now or ever? I don't what? know, ever, sometimes, <laughs> never. I just, I'm just, I'm just going with the flow, dog. Hey, bro, I'm, I'm about it. I'm about the Dow, yeah. the Dow of Iron. It's the right of all. <laughs> it be a coloring book? Or what? Whoa. Wow. That dude almost got fucking killed, bro. That dude just turned left and, like, literally came inches fucking close. It might even be on camera possibly not nah, it won't be you'll see the cars that by so we got a living room here okay two bedrooms and one bathroom on the upstairs level here upstairs is pretty original You guys from Colorado? Originally, I'm from North Carolina. Okay. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. The house was built kind of turn of the century. So yeah, most uh, Colorado house. I mean, yeah. most of like ranch style houses. But like the bottom being remodeled is cool, but the upstairs is like pretty wrecked. Yeah. All this house. Yeah. Well, that's that's. Let's just knock on the door and be like, "How much to rent?" Be like, like a room? Yeah. Like no, a whole house. How much? The young Matt Sager. You know, he's German Shepherd. Hey, there's a car coming. Let's see, they have stop. I don't. Hey, don't do it. Let's go. Look at another place. You're gonna be tired today, sir. Want any more? Look at that tongue, son. Yeah. 
Today we are looking at houses. We have one more house to look at. Then it's back to the, well, houses, errands. I got some phone calls to make. I got a ton of drawing to do and <laughs> crazy dog. So that's what's going on today. I tell you, they always look bigger online though, too. <laughs> little fish island What's this backyard like is what I want to see. Oh, that's nice. Is it? No, I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, like. There is a lot of room, dude, and it is all nice. Oh, here's the nice bathroom. Yeah, this would be like your bedroom. And then wait, there might even be more. Oh yeah, look, there's. It's kind of like utility, but there's there's laundry, there's storage, and then there's like this whole room too. What? Is it broke? Yeah. Oh, you think it was? I mean, this is yeah. Nice, yeah. This is all right. yeah. This is straight up built for fucking money. Yeah. Should we talk to this guy and try and get? You like this place? Yeah. yeah. It's, everything has just been remodeled. It's yeah, it's nice. It's got like every place I've looked at. Yeah, it's like, so cool. Your place is so. I need to do this, and this is basically is how I need. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Perfect. So um, first come, first serve with the application process, which means you know. I love it too. Yeah. Like, what do you think, guys? They're like, we love it. Oh, yeah. You better fill that app out in your phone, dog. All right, so um, there are some prospects in the house hunt. Served bases, so I don't really know at this point. That AC was pretty loud. I don't know if any of this is usable. After this, off to the dispensary. Gonna go home and line up a few more houses for tomorrow. We'd like to avoid the house hunting if we can just take one, but uh, $50 application fee, a lot of people are cheap. Not us, so. Hopefully that helps separate us from these bums out there trying to take this motherfucking house. So we're at the art store. I don't know if I told you guys that. Teddy's getting some more spray paint. He's been secretly spray painting murals all over the city late at night. If you find one, and you scan the QR code that he painted into it, well, I can't tell you anything else. Boy. Oh, the scooter's on the street. Bitch was like, I'm not walking. Look at that apartment down there underneath that little overhang oh, the homie's got. That's nice. the spot right there. That's where you're gonna it's be. Not a bad spot. Find one in. Not a bad spot, dog. Shaded. Waterfront. waterfront. Like real waterfront. So, home from looking at houses. Second house I really like. I mean, it's not like I didn't like spend that much time there, but everything seems like it's got enough space. It's chill, all brand new. Everything seems cool. So I put in an application for that house. There's also another couple there who probably also put in an application. So we'll see what happens. Tomorrow we're looking at more houses. Basically this whole week is just, I have to figure this out because then the following week I have to basically pack and move. And so I've decided what I've decided to do as far as tour goes, I'm still working out all these details. I'm still working with sponsors. The Indiegogo is still up. There's all kinds of shit going on. I'm just gonna whoa, right, uh, I'm just gonna push that back at least until like July 1st so the tour won't start till July 1st now yeah I just I can't do all this at once so I have to kind of like chill restructure figure out what the fuck is the most important and then eliminate my stresses as they pop up shoes like I don't know what the fuck is going on my prototype mids and my Alexander Wangs are still not fucking here my homie's out of town so I text him to see about tracking and his phone just goes to green so he's just out of town um but yeah so those are on the way but that's really like that's all that's on the way I think oh BYW white the white pair of BYWs and we ordered earn a pair of the solar ultra boost but they're not they haven't shipped yet from Adidas so Adidas hurry the fuck up and ship them please I want to check them out or earn wants to check them out but yeah other than that man it's like I just been concentrating on doing more art and um, just like being more creative I've been like in a really just wanting to make stuff mode so that's what I've been doing which is funny because now I'm moving <laughs> and uh, it's like I find Finally feel settled I guess but um, yeah and I'm not settled because I have so much shit going on but that's what I really have to do the rest of the day I have a new drop to draw for we have stuff coming actually this week I need to do some drawings get some shit finished 
get prepared for things. We're gonna have a restock this week of some of the stuff that you may have missed out on. I don't think there's much new stuff dropping. I'm gonna work on dropping a pre-order for toddlers and uh, youth. So I got a lot of stuff just like going, plus my voice. I don't, well, like, I hate sounding like this, but my voice is also fucked up. So there's just, you know, whatever. Um, and then one thing I'm not gonna really talk about is all of this Yeezy news of all the restocks of Yeezy shoes. We've gone through this like a hundred times and every time I go off on a tangent about how resellers don't really give a fuck about shoes and da 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 da, -da. Like, it doesn't matter. I don't wanna talk about it anymore. Like straight up, the reason I left shoes, the shoe community, world, whatever the fucking culture, uh, the first place is because of how stupid shit is and how stupid people make shit and it just becomes annoying and then you don't wanna associate with things that are just goofballs fuck. It's just all day with it right now. Like everybody's just back and forth and it's like, dude, we, we, we all tried to tell you that this was a false reality in the first place. So between that and, you know, complex articles trying to tell YouTubers they should act more like complex, I really, uh, I really am starting to give even less and less of a fuck about the community around sneakers because it kind of seems like most people are full of shit. Just again, just buy what the fuck you like when you like it. Stop buying shit to hold unless it's a double of a pair that you think is just gonna disappear forever and you wanna wear it again. Other than that, dude, you're fucking playing yourself. You're fucking playing yourself, just stop. You know what I mean? Like there's shoes. Life is about where you go in your shoes. Not about how many shoes you buy and not how many fucking shoes you flip. Like where are your fucking shoes gonna take you, dog? Like some of y'all motherfuckers gotta wake up, dude. I'm not going on anymore. I don't care. Resell if you want, but honestly, you could buy a used Honda and fix it up and make more money. Just dead up, like, easily. Or a fucking house. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. But as far as shoes go, there is one thing that I do want to talk to you about because there's been a bunch of questions. I will be smoking on glue. For the record, we're still on salads every day. Diet, whatever, lifestyle choices is normal. Uh, I've still been fasting till like, usually now I fast until almost four o'clock. I've been staying up later, so I stop eating at midnight and then I'm usually in bed by like two or three. Going to the gym has not been as easy with traveling. I've been there still probably, what, this week? Well, today's only today's only Tuesday, so I haven't been at all. But last week I went three days. This week I'll go three. I get three days a week average. I wanted to try and get five. But with as busy as things are, I don't get to go over there every day when I need to. But uh, yeah, everything's everything's rolling. We're still on that style of life. You know what it is. So for shoes, uh, and I'm standing because I don't, I, I, you know what, there's really no reason why I'm standing. I just felt like, it. and a minute ago I just said that I wasn't, I fucked my shirt up too, I knew it was gonna happen. A minute ago I said I didn't have any other shoes on the way, which is completely not true. I have a Ye two Yeezys, a Beluga and a V1. And I also forgot that I put an order for all three, well there's four, but I put an order for three of the four uh, Chinese exclusive for real. So those are also on the way. But no shoes came in today, but we've been kind of like teasing you guys and joking and making comments and whatever, whatever about SNS shoe, about these NMDs. There's a little confusion. Orange pair here, which we talked about a couple weeks ago. The uh, ice blue, you know, the ice version of the fire and ice. Both of these pairs, here, ba 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 ba, Tiffany blue, tangerine orange. You know, these are fire. 3M bricks, boom, 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 boom. Sick. No, they sat on Adidas for three days before they just pulled them completely off. They didn't sell out, they just pulled them. I made a video about it, the video did what it does, and then uh, I actually heard from SNS about the shoe, and then we just kind of did a little thing. SNS leaked my vlog. Uh, there is now a timer up on SNS for this shoe. So this shoe is going to release. It releases this week on SNS. I don't even know when the fuck. I think it's 30th. Yeah, two days. Energy Aqua is what it's called. So the Energy Aqua. I don't know, I don't know what the other one's called now. I'm like, now I gotta know. Trace Orange. Trace Orange and Energy Aqua. Or Adidas released them by mistake online. I don't really know how something like that happened. You know, that's the story. They were never supposed to. You notice a lot of people are like, oh, this is an SNS collab. Like, is this an SNS exclusive? And the thing is, is that it's just verbiage, it's just words. It's not considered a collab. So this is not considered a collab with SNS. Similar to how this is not considered a collab with SNS. It's an SNS project. What it is is what's called a SMU, which is a special, a special makeup. It's not called a collab. So these 
aren't technical. Adidas lets s and come in and cook in the kitchen. You know, they get to use, they have free reign over colors, over certain models, blah, blah, blah. But these weren't technically, from what I heard, supposed to release everywhere. It was just an s, &S project, but they have started showing up in some Adidas original stores. This pair is in New York and Chicago. Uh, Wicker Park store had both pairs. New York City Adidas original store, there's only one, uh, had both pairs. So you may be able to find them there, but other than that, it's s, s in a couple of days. Two days from now, the timer is up on s, &S right now. Yeah, and that's just like what happens. So, you know, a lot of times we get used to stuff, we see it, we see it sitting, we're not hype on it. There's not a lot of uh, marketing around it. And then it kind of takes us missing out on it, seeing it in the wild, hearing the story behind it um, before people take interest. But as soon as I saw both of these, I knew they had 3M bricks on them and I knew it was time to cop. And I got lucky enough to get both pairs for half off, which is a fucking, I mean, that's like choice. They are coming. If you want them, you'll be able to get them probably. I don't know. You know, they say, they say that shit about boots right now, but, but yeah, so there they are. Good luck if you're going after them in a couple of days. And that's all I got for you today, I'm pretty sure. So I'll see you tomorrow. More house hunting tomorrow, unless these people call me back. And drawing. All right, peace.